Hey there YouTube, this is Alex with Seville Headlights and today I'm going to be doing a review of review and test of Meguiar's Black Paste Wax. And I have here a nice black 2005 Ford F-150. Um, I just ran over the entire truck with Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Uh, I did a video for that too. Really is amazing stuff. Um, and so now I'm going to mask this fender back off and we're going to do a before and after comparison of that paste wax. So give me just a second and I'll get that done. Okay, so I put a small, probably thumbnail sized amount of wax on this Chemical Guys low density foam pad. And uh, it's mounted on a Porter Cable 6 inch dual action polisher. Uh, you can do this by hand, but the DA saves so much time and effort, it really is worth the 95 bucks or whatever it is that it costs on Amazon. So I'm going to pass the camera off and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got the, the dual action on a very low speed. We're just trying to spread the wax. We want to get a nice thin layer. Um, of course, again, you can do this by hand but uh, since I have the, uh, the buffer, I'm going to use it. Uh, we're going to put this on first before we turn anything on. We're just going to kind of spread it around uh, so it doesn't sling everywhere as soon as we turn it on. And using very light pressure, again, we really want a thin layer um, so it's easier to buff off. Go over it real smooth. And it's not like compounding where you have to make sure you get overlapping passes and everything. As long as it's an even coat and it covers everything, you'll be good to go. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. All right, so I'm gonna, I've let the wax sit for a few minutes. I uh, just like to let it set. And I'm gonna take this nice, clean microfiber cloth and buff everything out. Um, one thing you wanna look for in a wax is you wanna make sure it comes off easily. You don't wanna have to, you know, sit there and buff at it for uh, 10 minutes to get the residue off. And this seems to be doing a pretty good job. So now I'm going to peel the tape off and we will see if there's a noticeable difference. I certainly would hope so. I don't expect it to be as dramatic as after the compound, but uh, it would be nice to be able to see a bit of a difference. Ooh, yeah, I can definitely tell. Let's see. Yeah, you see that, you see that line right there? That is, that's pretty impressive, really. Um, and I had some deeper scratches here that the compound wouldn't take out, and it definitely filled those in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I am, I'm very pleased by that. Uh, and for, I think, $12 for a tube of that, that's not bad at all. It's uh, definitely in competition with some of the higher-end waxes that I've used. Uh, the real test will be how long it holds up and how long it is before I have to re-wax. So... Thank you for watching. Uh, if this was helpful, hit like, subscribe, throw me a comment, something like that. And I appreciate you watching.